Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Tonight we're watching episode 5 of The Haunting of Hill House. The Ben Neck Lady, that's the title of the episode. Obviously, this episode is about Nellie. We've gone through each sibling and Nellie is the last one. And I don't know how much we're gonna find out about the Ben Neck Lady because they also showed the ghosts that were haunting Luke in the previous episode, but they didn't tell us anything about who Abigail is or who that hat man is and why he's following adult Luke. So I don't know if we're gonna find out why the Bentnik lady is particularly after Nelly, but if we go like the previous episodes, we're gonna find out about everything that has been happening to Nelly up to the point of her death, which means we're probably gonna see how she died in this episode. Oof. Which means this episode would be really dark and probably really scary too, but I'm not feeling really scared today. I mean, I'm on theme, it's still middle of the night, but I was gonna record yesterday and I didn't because I was scared, <laughs> but I'm not scared today, at least not right now. There are a lot of questions about Nelly that I need answers to like what happened to her husband we haven't seen her husband we only saw her wedding but after that like nobody even we didn't even see anybody making a call to her husband is he dead did they get a divorce what happened there we don't know we don't know what happened between Nellie and Theo in LA she said she was still waiting for an apology from Nellie so something definitely happened there that we don't know about and Theo really freaked out when she touched Nellie's body, so she probably saw what happened to Nellie, how she died and stuff like that. And the way she was freaked out, it, it must have been pretty scary. So <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm also looking forward to it. I also want to find out. There was also this guy in Shirley's living room in episode 2 who I did not recognize. So, but this is about Nelly, so maybe we're not gonna see that. But yeah, we've waited all this time to find out what happened to Nelly, so I'm not gonna wait anymore, and let's just get right into it. Oh no! Intro scene like before the intro. This episode is also longer than the other ones. The first one was long, but then they were only like 45-50 minutes. This one is more than an hour long, which I'm really happy about. Are we gonna find out what's behind that red door? Shirley woke up and she said Nellie is in the red room. Ah, <gasps> oh, We're gonna start with the bent neck lady. The first night Oh, the Benedict lady started messing with her from the very first night. <laughs> okay, that's not that creepy. Thank God. Oh my God, imagine seeing that. Oh, poor baby. She screamed so loud it hurt my ear. Benedict lady. Well, that's a new one. Won't you miss your brother? Oh, right. sleep oh that was that was the second night. Poor baby. Okay, just tonight then. I'll stay with her. Should have stayed with her the entire night. You know what's inside my locket. I am. <laughs> you can hold on to it tonight, and when you're older, I'll give you this one. Is my camera tilted? I'm sorry if it is. Or was it straight before? No, please don't go. Please just stay here. Come on, just stay there with her. It's such a big house and she's such a tiny baby. Yeah, we saw that in the first episode. That is 
so fucking scary. I'm frozen. I can't talk. My breath gets fast and heavy. My heart feels like it's pounding out of my chest. And you said the first occurrence happened... When I was six. Sleep paralysis is actually more common than you think, but it's completely harmless. <laughs> I googled it. I, I was surprised to find that there was something to be done. Your brain basically switches off the muscles to stop you from acting out your dreams. It's funny the things people sometimes report. Shadow people. Your dreams may carry over. A little spill. Spill. Yeah. What's what that? her dad used to say. Oh, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a sleep tech. Okay, so what now? Then what now, Mr. Sleep Technician? Technolo technologist. Techno technologist. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's the guy she marries. We'll use that information to develop a kind of escape plan. An escape plan? So could get rid of the panic. You okay? Look at her. She's already falling in love. The last doctor I saw, mm. he just told me to avoid TV before bedtime. <laughs> Do you drink coffee? Are you asking me if I want to get coffee? No, I think he's just asking you for the coffee it's for the, to, for the sleep. health history section. <laughs> I really misread that. I was that. planning on waiting until the end of your visit to ask you out for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that is so cute. That is so cute. You've had a better offer in your whole life. With everything. Oh, so cute. Oh, I did not expect this episode to be cute. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, wait, what happened to your husband? Do you still see her? Oh my god, does she still see her? Hey! Oh, I haven't had one of these in a while. Uh-huh. And I'll get the light. Okay? Right here. Clench your face. Good. You did it. All the clouds <laughs> <It's here forever. laughs> there it is. <laughs> Took her almost ten minutes. Ten minutes and thirty years. <laughs> Luke said he might move out there too. <laughs> He's following you west, huh? That's a twin thing. <laughs> I hope he does. You can go skiing and surfing on the same day. Why? I don't know. I, I don't know why you want to do that, but you can't. It's good to have the option. Oh, at first I was like, oh, and then I remembered that she's dead. Oh. What are you looking at? Nothing. Eleanor Vance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to that. It's perfect. What happened to this perfect? What went wrong? They're in LA. Eight months later. Is the bent neck lady back? Mm. Oh, the paralysis. Her whole life she had to deal with it alone, not even knowing what it was. The then to have him next to her through these periods must have been really comforting. Mm. Whoa! What? <gasps> what? No, what? Oh my god, the bent neck lady. Did she kill him? What happened to your husband? Arthur. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. He was dead and she was back. I actually hadn't seen her since... Since you met Arthur? Well, since Arthur and I met. 
She left the house when she was six, just a couple months after they moved in. Why are you still following her into her adult life? And after the house, when we lived with my aunt, I saw her some more in college. After. But then he came into my life and she went away. And that she came back and took him. Her husband died of an aneurysm. It's perfectly normal to want to find something to blame. I know what's to blame. Our work is about getting to the root of your problems. The bent neck lady is the root of her problems. I told you the root of my problems. Hill House. Hill House. Your hair is also tangled, Mr. Bristles. The fact that she was still playing around so positively, not thinking about the bent neck lady 24 7, I could never. Mrs. Dudley, look what I found. Look at this one. Stars. I know who this may have belonged to. Jacqueline Hill. Her lady. mom owned this house, Mrs. Hill. Ah, the Hills are the one who are haunting this house. Ah. She said a lot of things toward the end that didn't make sense. One of the things she kept saying was that Jacqueline needed her cup of stars. I'm only going to drink out of this one for anything, unless Mommy says no. Use your cup of stars. Insist on your cup of stars. But you should wash it first. It's very dusty. Can we have a tea party? Not now. Young lady, please. Oh what what did she do? We have a very, very uh, important job. She didn't do it. She didn't do it. I didn't. I saw you playing with chalk yesterday. On the patio. Oh my god, she's getting so angry. Oh. <sighs> the migraine. Are you okay? You can help her clean up, Theo. And I expect it to be done before I get back. She's in a mood. I didn't do it. You can touch and tell. You gonna find out who did it? You didn't. You can tell? Pulling down this wallpaper anyway. Whoa. Come to me, Nell. Huh? Come home, Nell. <laughs> Come to me. Does Bent Nell Lady think that Nell is her daughter, Jacqueline? Confused the family, but maybe it's one hill thinking she is Jacqueline. When is it? Before, after? Is this a good place? She's dropping him off to the place where he ran away from in the previous episode. And I'm proud of you. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's helping me work through some stuff I never really... But if, if, if it's working, then that, that's great. It is. I've been having a hard time sleeping in that house without him. I've been hearing things too. Can you, it's take, a, just been... can you take a right now and pull over, please? Why are we... See that guy? That guy in the white hat over there? You owe him money? I need to get well before I go in. You want to buy drugs? You get to kind of go through the gates and you get to kind of get it out of your system. You see that guy in the white hat? See, uh, I owe that guy, so. So you want me? No, he, it's, it's you a little. You want me to buy you heroin? It's going to take, I promise you. Look, I'm tired of this shit, okay? I'm done. I'm going to do it this time, all right? Look, I can bullshit Steve and Cheryl and Theo if I got it, but, but not, not you, Nellie. Never you. Yeah, he actually did take it really seriously. He was there for nine months, and he did not plan to go out. I just need to get well one last time. Just, just push me through the gates, and then, and then that's it. I believed you. I, I always, always believed you. Believe me now. I've been having a really hard time too, and nobody wants to see it. You know, like, I want to see it. Okay, I want to see it. Okay. Okay. Right back. Don't. He just spit that out of his mouth. Yeah, that's what they do. Are you seeing the? Are you seeing the? Oh my God! 
Ah. Oh. I just need a little help sometimes, right, Millie? Oh. I saw my brother last month. Last month? You didn't mention this at any of our other sessions since then? You've spoken to him then? No. Day four, I started to feel better. Probably don't believe in the twin thing, do you? Oh, I believe a unique shared empathy exists between twins. At least you believe something. My shared empathy made me feel nauseous for the first few days, but then I guess he got better. How is this new medication working for you? Any issues? I don't think she's taking any. What kind of question is that? This event seems to have really upset you. Is there more to this story? I wish you would have called me. That is not the way you help an addict. So are we heading out? I'm really excited to see the beach. Not yet. Um... Oh, uh, she, something happened between these two in L.A., right? Don't like you said do. you would. Where? The pillow. No. I'm sorry. Theo! Okay. That's where he died. You said you- Hey! Hey! The fuck! Nellie! I am feeling serious fucking concern! That is what I am feeling! I just wanna know- You can't live like this. I thought we might get drunk and fucking cry, but I didn't think I would be treated like a goddamn- I'm sorry! sorry. Well, he's not exactly impressing me, and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, she is. She knows. You are here all by yourself. I have Steven. When he's not on a book tour. Like you're above taking money from family. Yeah, you really want to talk about what Shirley knows and doesn't know? She might not let you freeload anymore. Oh my god. Nellie. Don't lecture me about adulthood, Theo. Not from Shirley's fucking guest house. Standing there waiting for you to apologize. Uh, Nell, I know, but you should not. Come on, man, you need your family. More than I can fit in the book. Alcatraz. Whispering in cells. Uh, any other questions? Can I get a write up more about Hill House? Look, I'm, I'm thrilled you guys came out for the reading today, but I'm really here to talk about Alcatraz. I have a question. Whoa. Oh my god, that's not crazy. What's she doing here? Why do you keep lying to these people? <laughs> Nellie, we can talk about this after the read. No. I'd like you to answer me now. Now you stand there and you talk about ghosts and you tell me I'm crazy and that mom was crazy and you're supposed to be my big brother. No. You know, you're supposed to protect me. You say the meanest things to me when I try to tell you. <sighs> I don't ask you for anything. I just want to know why. At this place, think of it as my office. I'm at work. Are you off your meds? No. Bullshit. You don't get to just start smashing up our lives because you're transitioning into a new treatment now. Yeah, I could have asked him a little privately. Like, maybe when it was just the two of us. I, I drove to Ojai, and I, and I called him out in front of all of his little fans. I don't think that's what he suggested. <laughs> oh my god, Nelly. It felt good. This behavior isn't in keeping with the Eleanor that I've known for the past year. Yes, I'm taking my meds. No, you're not. You know, this was never about confronting Stephen or your other siblings. Is that why she goes back to Hell House? It always oh. comes back to one thing. The house. You've never been there. Well, that's true. You'd find it's not a monster. It's barely even a house. Probably littered with the... Uh, with graffiti and dirt. It's just an empty box. That's why she went back to Hill House. I... What would Arthur say to you if, if he could talk to you right now? When she was calling everybody, she was not in this room. It was a different... Oh, she was not in LA. She went for the Hill House, right? So she wasn't here. A couple of stars. Mmm. That's where she was. Uh, 
at night. Aren't we going back for mom? Not yet. What do you mean not yet? You're scared maybe? I don't know. Come in. I have to go back to the house and get mommy. I'll bring her back. But I have to go now. Here. Okay. Theo saw something. She's freaked out. Did you see anything? I don't know what they saw. We're in the red room. How? The red room's locked. Oh, see, so things did go down to hell when they opened the red room. Are you staying in the exact same room? I thought the bent neck lady somehow made her go back there, but actually it was her doctor. But she never called her dad throughout this entire time. She has been going through this for months, but it was at the very end she called her dad and told him that the bent neck lady is back. The bent neck lady had been back since Arthur died. Oh my god. <gasps> the fuck? Who the fuck is that? That blood. How do you even tell your her. kids? She's okay now. It's just pain. It's okay, honey. I called them. You need to stick it together now. Be there for each other no matter what, okay? Man, I hate Hill House. Give me a second, sweetie. I hate that house. Thank you. I'll just wait a moment. What's going on? One of them is going to stay here with you guys and until your Aunt Janet gets here. What? She should be here no later than 2 o'clock. Oh, that's her dad's. With the big hand's on the 12. She should be here, okay? You hold on to this. Oh, this is when she started calling. How is your brother and sister Charlie still doing? And I wondered since Steve. the book. Sorry. Uh, so it's hard to understand. Everything's so twisted. Oh, it was Luke. She saw Luke. Worried about Luke? I kept thinking, like, who is that man? Did you talk to him? It was Luke. What the hell? Call me. It looked like Luke, but I did not expect. Luke to be like that, so I just thought it was somebody else. What an idiot. Oh my god. We saw that scene in the first one. That was so scary. I know you're worried about Luke, but I called his rehab center and he's fine. He actually got his 90 day chip today. 90 day? I thought he was here for nine months. What an idiot. I hope you're well, Nelly. <laughs> Nelly's not well. Nelly's so not well. night she was just sitting there the entire time she should have gone there during the day she probably shouldn't have slept all day there's nothing wrong with going at night come on it's scarier at night it's just a cart in the woods even if it was just a normal house it would have looked so spooky at night should have gone during 
It's also a really old house. It's dangerous to go there at night. And she goes there, and before going in, she calls her dad. You know, if it was just this one person, you would say that maybe something psychological is happening, but because so many things are happening to all of them. Honey, are you okay? What time is that? She's back. I could have sworn in the first episode, I thought the lights in that house yes, were I'm, on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to yeah. drive to Orlando. Get a flight to LA. Okay. Oh, Porsche light flashing. Is that why the Porsche light flashed on Shirley's? That happened after Nellie died. No, before Nellie died. House literally called her in. Where have you been? Oh, there you are. Where have you been? We were gonna have a tea party. Mom? She's over here. And she was dancing. We saw a shot of her dancing. Welcome home, Nellie. You're here. You're not even dressed. I didn't write that. We know. I know you didn't. So creepy, man. So creepy. And you have to get dressed for bed. Saying all the things that she wanted to hear. Shirley saying they're going to have a tea party. Her saying I always believed you. This is what I keep saying. If it was just her, I would think that she has some psychological problems, but... There are so many things happening around so many of them, around all of them, that it's definitely not just in her head. I mean, this is, they keep showing us that it's just in her head, but I don't know. Did you actually find a dress there? You're so beautiful. Downstairs? Of course. We can't be late for the reception. Her wedding reception? Ah, she was dancing with Steve. You look amazing. I'm sorry for everything I said. Ah, oh, she's hearing everything that she wanted to hear, always. I'm so sorry that we fought. It's okay. All sober. You did the trick. I'm clean and sober all thanks to you. Dancing with Arthur. I've missed you. Oh my god, this is so. <sighs> no, he. All the clouds smile on your face. It's enough for me. She deserved a happy ending with Arthur. The hat guy. Who's the other lady? Is she the bent neck lady? She deserved that. Huh? Abigail? Come along. We're going to have a tea party. In the red room. The last night. Jacqueline, the bent neck lady. The ropes. The mom kept saying, I see an accident waiting to happen. Nellie. It's yours now. What is she wearing? Is she wearing, a ro is she wearing the rope? What is she wearing? Actually, show us the real life. Huh? It's okay, honey. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. She didn't do it. Luke, Luke said she didn't kill herself. She was murdered. Oh my god, she didn't do it. The house killed her. Oh, thank God. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? She was the bent neck lady all along. What the hell is... I watched the credits. Entire thing. Oh my god. That is... That is so genius, so fucked up. The way they ended this, it was an hour long episode and I don't even remember anything. She was the bent neck lady? Oh, how does that even make sense? How is her future haunting her? How did I can't even wrap my head around it? How does that make any sense? What? The house killed her and imagine that being your last moment realizing your whole life was fucked up because of you the whole the ghost that kept haunting you throughout your childhood and your adult life. It was you. It's so fucked up that I can't even wrap my head around it. How does that even make sense? And now she's dead. And you can't even tell it. That's what, that, is that what Theo saw? What the hell did Theo see? Now I want to know. Did you see the entire thing where she was hallucinating and the house killed her? Did she see what Nell was seeing in the house? Did she see the end where Nell finds out that she was the bent neck lady all along? What the fuck? What the f What the fuck? Oh my god. When Steve told Luke what Nelly did, Luke said that she did not do it. She was murdered. He said that. How are they? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I feel like I need some time to process this, but I also want to jump into the next episode right now. What are they going to show us? Are they going to tell us about the mom in this next one? Because, I mean, things were definitely wrong with the mom too, and we never found out what happened in the red room when they went to have a tea party with Abigail and mom. But this sort of did answer one thing for me because I was wondering if the hills were also, I mean, if the hills maybe accidentally invited ghosts into the house with the Ouija boards and stuff, but I guess it is the Hill family that is haunting this house. We saw the photographs. And we know that um, the hat guy, we saw the hat guy and he's haunting Luke. I'm not really sure about the ghost. Uh, bent neck lady was, how does that even make sense that she was seeing her, basically she was seeing her death her entire life. That's what she was seeing 
for some messed up reason, she saw her dead when she was six and she kept seeing that her entire life. That is so messed up. Her whole life got so messed up. Oh, and if she did not see it, maybe she would not have even ended up in that place. She would not have even died like that if she wasn't haunted by the bent neck lady her entire life. Because she was so... Ugh. Bent neck lady was the only ghost that she ever saw in the house, right? So everybody else sort of moved on from that. Not completely moved on, but, you know, tried their best to move on from it. And they're somewhat living an okay life. I mean, the trauma of what happened is obviously going to haunt them forever. They lost their mom, they had to live with their aunt, and they went through stuff in the house. But Luke and Nelly were the only ones who saw ghosts. And Luke seems to have seen, I, get, I mean, his ghosts are different. But with Nelly, she only saw the bent neck lady, which was her. So if she did not see herself, then she probably would have been able to move on from it too somehow like i don't know how to explain this but you understand right what i'm trying to say she would not have kept blaming the house the bent neck lady in particular it wasn't even the house it was the bent neck lady that was the root of her problems and yeah she never would have gone back there because that was not the root of her problem she would have tried to fix it by taking medications because she's not being haunted by a goddamn ghost and probably would have been able to move on from that but no she uh, she saw her death which actually ended up leading her to her death I, it's so messed up that it's so hard to even put in words really have to appreciate it though you know the plot twist it doesn't always happen that you're watching something and your jaw just drops. Like, shocked out of your mind at what you just saw. It doesn't always happen. It was so amazing. That was the best plot twist. So good. And we still have five episodes left. Probably would get all the answers by the end of this, but... Oh my god, this is such a sad story. I'm back to saying it again. This is such a tragic story. You know, Nelly, she deserved the happy ending when she saw... When she met... Oh, right. When she met Arthur, she did get her happy ending. But the problem is, Arthur actually did die because of aneurysm. But that brought the bent neck lady back. The bent neck lady wasn't haunting her. The bent neck lady didn't um, kill her husband. But I guess maybe she, her future changed when she met Arthur and things got better when she met Arthur. But because Arthur died of aneurysm that night, you know, it just went back to this, like, now you're going back to this, you're going to die like this. So her death started, the bent neck lady started haunting her again after Arthur died. If Arthur did not die that night, then I guess her life would have continued to be normal and she would not have seen the bent neck lady ever again. Which just makes it even more sad. It's just so tragic. Oh, that's so sad. I loved every single episode of this show so far, but this one takes the cake. This one was my favorite. The way it ended, the plot twist, the final few seconds, when we find out that she is the bent neck lady, was the best thing ever. It was so amazing. The shock was so good because when she was like that, I was like, oh, she died just like the bent neck lady. And then you realize, oh my God, she is the bent neck lady. Brilliant. Really, really brilliant. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, then please go ahead, like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you soon with the next episode.